the following show is dedicated to Byron Rogers for becoming a patron at patreon.com slash tin dog and helping the tin dog podcast to keep going. Thank you. Scanning for audio. Welcome once again to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time reviewing Unit Extinction, brought to us by those wonderful people at Big Finish. Unit Extinction is a five-disc set. It marks the very first official, well, unless you count the Strax disc that came out last week, the very first official crossover between old and new Who. No, that's not a crossover. It's the very first new Who thing done by Big Finish. It has Kate Lethbridge-Stewart. It has Osgood, at least one of them. I'll get back to that in a moment. And it has the return of, and they're on the front of the box, this is hardly a spoiler, the Autons. We all like the Autons, don't we? Yes, let's all nod. And if ever you're introducing something new, like a brand new Doctor, or say a brand new Doctor, or say the Master, or, say, a new series returning. You know the sort of thing. You use the Autons. And you're introducing a brand new series to us today. So, yes, the Autons are not just the logical choice. They're perhaps the only choice. Because given the way that they return to dominate this particular story, it is, and I don't like using this phrase very often, simply genius. You've got Matt Fitton and Andrew Smith being the two authors for this four-story set. Each story is individual and can be taken alone, but let's face it, they're all part of one massive overriding arc. So yes, you've got Gemma Redgrave, and yes, you've got Ingrid Oliver. But, you know, they're not just all of Unit. This is Unit on audio. Audio, you get to go everywhere. It's practically Department S. It's the flat screen. It's ITC. It's kind of, well, countermeasures, but you know, modern. Let's not go down that road just yet. You've got your four parts. You've got Vanguard, Earthfall, Bridgehead and Armageddon. Nice one title thing. You've also got a really punchy new opening theme tune. Really, really rather special. So rather than have me spoil it, and I will talk in a moment about the individual mechanics of the whole thing, I just want to say that it's great it's spectacular. It doesn't let you down at all. Even if you're beginning to think, oh, it might be a bit pants. It's just not. It's exactly what you thought it would be, and it's exactly as good as you would think it would be. So feel free to go out and buy a unit. Now, that was the spoiler-free section. I don't really want to go into many spoilers, but I do want to talk in a little bit more depth. For a start, there's only one Osgood. Now, this was given the go-ahead way before we knew Osgood was coming back. So in our heads, we could have a whole, oh, it must be set before Osgood gets killed. Or perhaps some other point, and the Zygons are just off somewhere else, being peaceful. But the fact that the Zygon story with the two Osgoods and the Osgood box is taking place somewhere, and is actually being recorded at precisely the same time that this story is being recorded in Big Finish Towers, well, that's going to ring some alarm bells for someone. So what they've done very sensibly is completely ignore it. So you've just got the one Osgood. You've got absolutely no mentions of Zygons whatsoever. And that's fine by me because this could be set at any point And it's fine. And it works. And it's unit not just being a bunch of soldiers. Not just being a bunch of, you know, Briggs army. There are people who are in Europe everywhere. There is red tape to go through that reminds you of the bridge trips to Geneva. But because you've got the massive canvas of the entire globe and it simply works and none of these people are A, ciphers and B, stupid, it 
works. Yes, somebody gets called lieutenant or lieutenant incorrectly, but you know what? In the bag, grand scheme of things, it's fine. It's an international group that can call them whatever they want. So who else have we got on board? Well, we've got Warren Brown as Lieutenant Sam Bishop, or Lieutenant if you want, Ramon Tickerham as Colonel Sinead, James Joyce playing Captain Josh Carter. Yes, there is a Captain Carter in the unit's universe, and we're going to like him. He's going to be around for a while, and it will be brilliant. Even that might be a spoiler for some people. Great new characters like Jackie McGee are all together. Yes, there is somebody called McGee and it's all a bit Hulk, but we don't want to go down that road. What we want to do is say that basically the Autons are invading using a method that is so obvious that it makes you go, why has nobody done this before? Why was it not obvious all along? Oh yeah, I get it. How could they not have done this up to now? And that's what Big Finish is becoming increasingly good at, making you go, why hasn't this been done before? Why is this not just out there already? It's fantastic. And that sums up this box set completely. It is literally fantastic. I can't wait for the extras. Yes, you get more character development. And yes, the major character development we won't be able to go into. But I'm sure the TV will feed back into this. Box set two is well in production. And I believe was recorded a matter of weeks ago in the presence of a certain other podcaster. But that's more logical, that's more a piece of logical surmising rather than having any actual proof. No, I just want to say that this is a brilliant, brilliant example of what Big Finish do well. They take something that you already love and give it back to you even better. So yes, unit, more please. And if you're an Osgood fan, jump on board. Come on. You might not have had any more unit experience, you might not know the old series, but who cares? If you like Osgood, come here. Listen to this. You know you'll love it. So until next time, when I'm probably talking about Doctor Who, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Unit Extinction. Sam, have you heard of the Nestines? Who in Unit hasn't? So that's what we're up against. There's an invasion on the way. One of their energy units has come down in the Gobi. It's imperative that you recover it and return it to London. If this is what we think it is, a swarm leader, it could hold valuable information on the Nestine's plans. How long have we got? The main body of Nestine spheres could reach the Earth within the next 24 hours. Bear in mind, you may not be alone. Because it went so far off course, it's unlikely the Nestine's had anyone nearby. But they're bound to be looking for it. Big finish. We love stories. You've been listening to the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Audioboom, Tumblr, and wherever podcasts are found. Why not become a supporter of the show by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Doctor Who and its associated properties are copyright of the BBC and no infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>